from uh, Simple Man Outdoors. Also, uh, Zombie Apocalypse Survival Camp Survival School. I haven't made any videos in a while, kind of got out of it, and life's been a little bit too busy for me. But every now and then, you find something that you just have to tell people about. And I got one of them right here. This is the uh, JBA from uh, Bark River Knives. It's named after the two uh, guys that designed it, uh, Vandal Burns and John Simmons. It's called the John Burn Axe. It's made by Bark River Knives, which they're a very well-known, high-end quality knife maker. They ain't cheap, but they make tools that uh, will last you a lifetime. It comes with a really nice sheath. It's all leather. It can be carried scout style. It's kind of got a dangler on it. Uh, this sheath would probably be 40 50 bucks if you bought it by itself. But show you the knife. This thing is a beast. It's thick. It's a quarter inch thick. It's just under a foot long, which really isn't all that big of a knife. I see a lot of Bowie knives with 8, 10, 12 inch blades. Uh, this was designed to chop well, kind of replace a hatchet, and do fine whittling tasks easy. And which most larger knives, they kind of go one way or the other. They're either really well at chopping but not much else or they're not good at chopping and do some finer tasks better this was designed to do both as well as possible and it it does uh, it's got a very comfortable ergonomic handle you can choke down on it to chop you can choke up on it that blade is from the tip to the hilt is literally only five inches long that's not much longer than a mora its balance is fantastic. It feels half the size of the knife and it carves and whittles terrific. It chops phenomenally. It throws chips terrific. I've chopped through a six inch walnut log. I don't didn't keep track how many strikes it took but it went through it better than half my hatchets and the tomahawks. That quarter inch thickness is nice and contoured in there. You can put it in your hand you can squeeze the hell out of it and you're not getting any hot spots there's almost no hand fatigue with this at all you don't get a sore spot in your finger I don't normally care for choils on small knives I do like them on larger knives but this is comfortable that thick spine also helps a lot with uh, thumb assists when you're doing fine whittling tasks a lot of times you put your thumb on the back of the knife and push well it's comfortable it's wide enough that there's no hot spot and that meat in the knife, how thick and strong it is, makes cutting into things really easy. Can't really uh, say much more about it. It is a fantastic knife. It does everything advertised, and it does it well. So let's go on out in the woods and play with it a bit, show you what it's capable of. It really throws chips. That's something you don't see with a large machete or a thin blade or even a full flat grind knife. Cutting isn't always about how deep you can chop. The more wood that you can remove with one strike, and it's usually after you hit it, you always give a little bit of a twist and it pops those chips out. You're not going to hurt this knife doing that. It's a tank. That really wasn't all that much effort. I know this is just some dead pine. It just happens to be where I'm at. I chopped through some walnut at home with it about the same size as this and took a few more strikes but it it's really effortless it just cuts deep and that edge it's a full convex grind it's still just razor sharp
the more you play with it, the more intuitive it becomes. Just wanted to show a little bit more of the chopping ability of this. can't go wrong. This thing is an animal. It chops way outside its size. I, just, I think it has a lot to do with the edge geometry and the weight that's in there. It's just fantastic. Well, that one broke off. That's not the number one feature. The number one feature to me is how this thing carves. It feels so nice in the hand. Uh, just because this knife chops well doesn't put it in one category. It handles way smaller. This works terrific for fine carving. Uh, that thick spine makes it really easy to do a thumb assist. There's no discomfort and all that meat behind the blade really makes it go into wood easy. Makes notching a breeze, literally. <laughs> it, <laughs> that quick and easy. It uh, whittles phenomenally. All kinds of control. And for powerful cutting, it removes wood fast. And you already seen how it chops, but uh, but the only thing I can't wait to do with it is butcher some game, maybe clean some fish. I know it ain't no fillet knife, but I'm thinking real world tasks. I just, I just can't get over how this thing feels in my hand. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, you can get bigger knives. I'm sure you can get knives that might chop better, but they're not going to feel like this one does. Uh, Bark River knocked this out of the park. Excellent design, guys. Uh, Randall and John. And then perfectly executed by Bark River. My search for a one tool option is over. I can get a bigger knife than this, but I don't need to. This does everything I would ever need a knife to do in the woods just fine. And on top of that, I don't ever have to worry about breaking it. It's just perfect. That's all I can say. I don't know if you can ever get your hands on one. Hopefully they do end up making production runs because this is just a prototype. They made 90 of them. I think most of them are sold now. 
Well, there ain't much more I can say about it. This is definitely, if you're looking for a one tool option for a survival knife or a wilderness knife, you can't go wrong with this. It is perfectly designed and perfectly executed. It's not cheap. Uh, I think it runs about 360 bucks, but it comes with this nice leather sheath. You can set it up for scout carry. It's kind of like a dangler. Very well done sheath. You'd probably pay 50 bucks for that sheath alone. But uh, when it comes to a custom knife, this is perfect. I get. I have no other ways to describe how this knife feels, how it works, how it functions. Thanks for watching. Razor, out.